Because I've mentioned this before on the show, I don't understand why the police are infallible. They remind me a lot of the Catholic Church. In fact, <laughs> well, they do. Here, here's the stat. Uh, they gave out, um, gave out, they were, were sued, uh, the, poli the Baltimore police. Right. I think 130, 317 suits. They paid out five... Point seven million yeah, dollars right. in the, since 2011. Right. This does remind me of the Catholic Church. And in the Catholic Church, of course, not every priest was a pedophile, but the institution covered up for the pedophiles. And this is what I see. Uh, the, uh, the head of the police union said today, I have never seen such a hurried rush to file criminal charges. Well, it wasn't hurry. Right. This happened over a week ago. Yeah. No one condones police misconduct. Well, yes, fuck they yeah, do. they do. Uh, of all the officers involved at all times re acted resp reasonably and in accordance with their training, well, that then their training sucks, and how would you know that? Yeah. Uh, no officer injured Mr. Gray. These officers did nothing wrong. They're in... Infallible. The what, police are infallible what I can't in America. Is they didn't put this man's seatbelt on. Now they have this commercial, click it or ticket. So in other words, if I don't have a seatbelt on, I'm going to get a ticket. Uh, and they didn't put one on him. Here, here's what I will say about what has happened here. If they had just treated Mr. Gray like a human being, when he asked for help, if they had just treated him like a human being, they wouldn't be going to court and he wouldn't be dead. And the only reason that exists in this country is because America, by and large, thinks it's no big deal. And it could not continue otherwise. I, I think this last year, with, with all the demonstrations around this country, show, demonstrates that America thinks it is a big deal. I think it's a big deal. Right. And I think changes it's are coming. And I think these charges today are a very good sign that a courageous 35-year-old prosecutor uh, is ready to, uh, you know, take on a big task, but it took and a... she just might win.